Y'all, right, I'm about to put this fan on here. If the camera person over here can just hold the camera while I'm doing this without pressing any of the fancy buttons. All right, let's try this. It's a new phone. It was a new phone. I stepped on it. Now it's no longer. And then this comes out like that. And then yeah, that ain't gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Then we take this one. And the reason that you know this one here is bad is because this has no kind of real resistance. This, this one does. So then we take this one. Then we reverse the thing on there and tighten it up. Now this is a 10 inch socket. This fan goes from like a 96 Oldsmobile and they're all the same for Oldsmobile. That's the GM. Four-wheel drive. It's all the same. I don't know if you can hear me because she's so far away. My phone is cheap and it'd be like, help. <laughs> All right, so now we get that on. So you could be doing this yourself. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna teach you how to do this stuff, and then I think I'm gonna teach a class on how to do this. I think you should be my first student. Should you, you want to be my first student? Camera person. Camera person. Camera person. I see you. You're adorable. <laughs> so that's on there. So this one.
the screw back on that it comes with new screws and stuff. So just in case you do what I just did and lose the old one. I was wondering where it went. Oh well, we don't need it. We'll just put a new one on. So it comes with a whole bunch of new screws. We should, normally I'd say you should use the new screws. I didn't because I'm in a hurry, because it's cold, and the wind is blowing. Won't regret it later. It'll be just fine. Just fine. It should come with a lock washer or something like that. Lock washer. Now. So this comes with a funny looking wash. Now, this wash is bowed. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. But if, it, if it's laying flat, it's bowed out. Now, it's okay. like a lock washer, so it's put it on here. Put it on upside down. That way when you tighten this up, it puts pressure on the back side of that screw to keep it from coming off. Also, I don't know if I already said this or not, but this is reverse thread, which means the screw turns on backward. Huh, I found it. <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about. This washer is funny because it's bowed out like that. Okay, so don't be afraid to use the old screw if it's stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it won't hurt anything to use the old stuff. It's not like it's going to come back off or anything. I suggest using the new stuff. Sometimes when the new stuff, I mean when the old stuff is stuck on to the stuff that you need to make it work, you end up reusing some of the old stuff. So now that's on there, and that's turning like it should. See how that stopped like that? that this one didn't do that, this one just kept on turning. Hopefully, if all is well with everything else, we can throw this back in there and it should come off when the clock starts coming out. Let's plug that in. Then we get that down and we put this in.
towns where things are a lot easier coming out than they are going back in. understood that. Now unless I'm like missing something on the past three cars I've had with this engine in it, that actually holds that on. And it's got a little bit of it. Ain't not, no holes on it. It's plastic. Let's <laughs> put the screws on first. screws in, plug it back up, and that's that for that. And if you like the video, like and subscribe. And if you don't like the video, like and subscribe anyway. And I'll talk to y'all later.